All right, so today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna check out this scanner that I bought a while back. This is actually a Whistler. And we need to find nine volts. I thought for sure that it was 12. So, um, let me check real quick to see if I even have one. I know I got one in the house, but it's running my weather station. Alright, so we're going to do something really goofy here. Because this thing uses a weird power supply, and now I remember why I haven't been using it. Um, so, it's a 9 volt, center positive, smaller type. And so what we're gonna do, we've got um, a tattoo power supply here. And this actually can be uh, set to on all the time. You don't need a foot switch always. So we're gonna plug that in. And we'll turn it on. We'll bring it up to nine volts. We'll just start with eight. And then we'll hold this down, it'll flash, and then it should be on. So we'll set that up there. And we'll find the end of the cord, which usually they're not identified like this because on a tattoo machine it doesn't really matter which one you hook up because they use uh, bipolar trans, uh, bipolar or non polarized capacitors. No. We get the fluke out and we'll check to see that the red is in fact positive. Um, I don't think we're actually turned on. I did something wrong here. Hold it. Um, And it's possible that I have it in the wrong spot. Well, okay, now we're on liner. Let's go back to the shader. And we hold it down. So now it should be on. Holy crap, we've seen 13 volts, no load. This thing is off by a lot. Seven volts, what do we got for seven volts? What the hell? I got 11 volts. My battery is low on my fluke, so I'm wondering if there's an issue. Let's go to six. Yeah, it just could be unloaded, so it reads 9.5. Try 5. I think 5 is as low as it goes. Or a 4.9 says 7.5. So, I'm just going to take this, and I've got the remnants of an old universal that broke at the... Um, transformer so we should just be able to attach this um, I've never understood their polarity on these type of things like they always do something weird like the white stripe you know uh, versus the regular black wire and they're not always what you think they would be so we have to check that We want to be center positive on this. I think the white stripe is the center, but it might not be. 
It is. Okay. All right. Now. Go ahead and wrap these wires on here for temporary use. And we'll attempt to power up the radio here in a second. So we've got this antenna right here. A little mag mount. I don't know if it's a dual band or what it is, but it has the appropriate BNC connector. So look that up. Put that there. Okay. We'll figure out which one of these fits the back of this. As I recall, there might have been an issue with the plug in the back not wanting to work correctly. This thing shut off. Huh. Okay. Let's see here. It might not be able to run it. Okay. Run the shader. Yeah. I heard something. Go up to six. Let's make sure. Yeah, see, this thing's got an issue where it doesn't like the plug on the back, and I've I've actually opened it up to check the circuit board, and everything appeared to be okay. This is why people donate stuff to Goodwill. Uh, unfortunately, they don't ever put a note on it and say, has problems. So we're going to go up a little bit in the voltage because it might be starving. Take it seven. Okay. Now it's on, but I have to keep my hand on it. time ham we got ham air Sometimes we hear some stuff here, especially when there's fires. When the planes are dumping stuff.
should never be left unattended in vehicles under any circumstances. Take extra precautions if you work or spend time outside. When possible, reschedule strength. So much noise here. I don't know why that is in here, but it keeps stopping on that. Or maybe there's a way to skip it. That does. FM radio. We want to get rid of this. Let's just see if I can just put it in. What the hell? Now that goes to that channel. I want this damn thing out of here and I don't know how to do it. Oh, well, that's something else. I need to figure out what the secondary key is on here. Scan. Okay, that goes right to that every time, so that's got something else to do with it. Um, hmm. Interesting. There we go. We're right back to that damn thing. Fire and police. UHF. Huh. So these different banks are already kind of set up. We might hear something here. Let's see what number two is. High VHF. Okay, that's what they use around here. That's cool. So just select the banks that you want, and it'll just scan a certain range. Let's see what we got for four. Uh, did that highlight four? No. That's weird. So it won't do anything for four or five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've probably programmed this. Low VHF. Okay. So, put the squelch to where it'll just barely be doing anything. Usually there's a lot of activity here. Um, especially towards the weekends.
maybe I should move my antenna. Negative 29, showing valid. What that is, there might be digital going on too. <laughs> yeah, that was the digital, which is probably the sheriffs out here. Yeah, there's usually a lot of activity on here. Thank you. 